Welcome to our screencast on vertical addition for second grade. You are in for a treat today. I think it's safe to say that we've all added vertically, but more than likely you haven't added vertically the Singapore math way. This is the last step in the progression of addition, which means that it's the most advanced way of doing addition. Looking back to when I first saw this method, I was amazed at how much easier the Singapore method is, and more importantly, how much more it makes sense in terms of place value awareness. If you'll recall, place value is part of the backbone of Singapore math instruction. Let's try it. Our first problem is 17 plus 15. The first step is to stack the problem vertically. Yes, I know you're probably thinking, but Singapore math always writes problems horizontally, and you are correct. However, I'm going to choose to use the vertical addition strategy, so I'm going to set the problem up to use that strategy. Now that I have my addition problem stacked vertically, I am free to add. I'm going to first add my 1's, so 7 plus 5 equals 12, so I write that right underneath the problem. Do you see what I did? I didn't carry that 1. I'm not going to lie, this method took a little practice because it was second nature for me to carry that 10, only I always referred to it as carry the 1. The problem with that method is that we lose our place value awareness. We are not really carrying a 1, but instead a 10. I know, it's the little things. Okay, so now I've added my 1's, now I'm ready to add my 10's. Keeping place value in mind throughout the process, I will next add 110 plus 110, or 10 plus 10, which is 2 10's, or 20. Did you notice that I didn't say 1 plus 1 like we would say in the traditional algorithm? That's because we are really adding 10 plus 10, not 1 plus 1. Now I'm ready to go ahead and combine my 10's and my 1's, and at this point it's very easy to do that in my head because 12 plus 20 equals 32. Isn't this powerful? As an educator, often people will ask me, what's wrong with the way I learned how to do math? Well, I'm not going to sit here and trash talk the way we learned how to do math because honestly, I love math any way I can work it. Instead, I'd like you to consider this. Do we want students to know how to do math one way and only that one way? regardless of whether it makes sense to them? Wouldn't it be better for us to give our students strategies and tools and then let them choose the method that makes the most sense to them? After all, as parents and educators, our ultimate goal is to create problem solvers and thinkers. It's easy to forget algorithms, but you don't forget how to reason your way through a problem. Let's try another one, 25 plus 36. First, stack the addition problem vertically. Now at this point, I can go ahead and add my 1's, or I can start with my 10's. It really doesn't matter where we start, because we are considering place value as we add. So feel free to go from left to right if you would like. As for me, I'm an old dog learning new tricks, so I'm going to go retro and add my 1's first. So 5 plus 6 equals 11. Now my 10's, 2 10's and 3 10's, or 20 plus 30, equals 5 10's, which is 50. Now to combine my 10's and my 1's, 11 plus 50 equals 61. Here's another problem, 33 plus 56. Like before, stack the problem vertically. Next, I will add the 1's. How many 1's do I have? That's right, I have 9 1's. Now add the 10's. How many 10's do I have? Yes, I have 8 10's or 80. Next, to combine 9 plus 80 equals 89. Okay, this is the last one. Let's try adding two three-digit numbers this time. 323 plus 576. First, stack the problem vertically. Again, starting with ones, how many ones do I have? That's right, nine ones. How many tens? Yes, nine tens or 90. And finally, how many hundreds? Yes, there are eight hundreds or 800. Now to combine them all, 9 plus 90 plus 800 equals 899. Ta-da! Now you know how to add numbers vertically the Singapore math way. Try practicing the strategy on your own. I truly am a believer in the Singapore math strategies. It's just good math. I hope you will take the time to explore other Singapore math concepts. Thank you for watching this video.